Now it's no homeward bound, I'm bound by the drive, put it all on the line. Fire for the sky, got the fire in my eyes, my heart heavy, I don't heat. I see speed limits and living at law threes. I live in the left lane for a living. Only limits I believe in is be a different city. I'm a beat in. Alright, so he told me 16,000 pounds. That's eight tons, right? 16,000 pounds. I say it's almost it's almost 48 feet. I so saw at about 48 feet. But we need a we need securement at least every 10 feet. Two in the first four feet and then every 10 feet. So we need at least five forms of securement on here so we'll throw five chains on there five chains um at 6600 what's that five times six is 30,000 another three 33,000 33,000 pounds did i do that right 600 times five three thousand yeah anyway that's why i don't even do the extra i just keep it simple the extra works in my favor if i'm not counting it that means i got more than i thought so five times six thirty thousand on a sixteen thousand pound beam structural beam painted and that's how you do it someone could say well just throw three chains on it well i'm not throwing three chains on it and yeah i'd be at what eighteen thousand 19.8 I'd be at 19,800 pounds in securement but it looks like it's 40 feet long to me so I gotta consider the length as well if I'm mistaken then I'm mistaken but I'd rather be safe than sorry I'm gonna build the bulkhead to be safe and get down the road especially with the weather that's been happening so let's get to it so I can get out of here
You see this plate? I don't want to put my chain on that plate. That plate is only bolted to that. That's, uh, that's I'm going to check those bolts before I leave and getting down the road because they will loosen getting down the road. But I don't want to put 6,600 pounds of pressure on the bolts. I want 66 pounds of pressure on the load. The load bearing steel. That's this. So I gotta, I just wanted to point that out. You know, people just throw chains. They don't care where it's at. Or what I could do is, that plate stops right here. I'm gonna throw it right in between the bolts. So now I have the plate and, and the load bearing steel both secure. Why do I hook my hook under it? Because if I hook my hook, if I hook my hook over it, what happens when the chain gets loose? Right? If I hook my hook over it, the chain gets loose, the chain can drop out of the hook. That's not what we want. So, under, there we go. In case anybody's wondering why I'm not grabbing the stake pockets, it's because the stake pockets doesn't have a weld on the inside. It only has welds on the outside. The stake pocket isn't as strong as the, the spools. The spools have a weld all the way around. There's no weak points in the spool. There are weak points in the stake pocket. So that's just me. Other flatbedders might say, you don't gotta pay attention to all that. Okay, cool. That's me. So you see the weld points? The, the, the weld goes all the way around the spool. There's no weak point. These welds, you only got one on there, but this is a weak point. No weld there. No weld there. That's a weak point. This could easily be pushed in, whatever. Nah. So I'm going to go around the spools.
let's talk about it. We got a 16,000 pound load. So what do we need to cover in securement? We need to cover 16,000 pounds. DOT, by law, you need to cover at least one half. That's not one and a half, that's one half. One half is 50%. So really DOT, 8,000 pounds were legal. However, DOT has other laws. So depending on the length of the load, you know, we need two in the first four feet and one every 10 feet thereafter. Considering my load is about 40, I'm, I'm, I'm give or take, it's about 40 feet. I know I need at least five, five forms of securement on it. Two in the first four feet, one every 10 feet thereafter, right? Told you guys about these bolts. I've made sure that I secured the load bearing steel and didn't put my chain over this because then that 66 pounds would be on those bolts and not the steel. So I made sure that I went over the plate that's bolted to the load bearing steel as well as the load bearing steel. So the chains are 3 8 chains, they're rated at 66. Someone could correct me if I'm wrong, if whether it's 64. Personally, I don't count the extra. I keep it real simple. I keep my mass simple. I round it down to 600. That way, anything that I didn't count works in my favor, it, meaning I have more securement on it than I've actually calculated. Considering I have one, two, three, four, five chains, one, two, three, four, five chains times 6,000, that's 30,000 pounds of securement on a 16,000 pound beam. I'm good. And I built the bulkhead in the front. I'm good. Am I good? Am I good? I'm good. This is going to Austin, Texas. I'm gonna take you guys with me. And uh, we'll do parts of the trip a little at a time. I got my bulkhead built here, just tall enough so that now people say, well, aren't you supposed to put it right up against it? Listen, it doesn't have to be right up against it. And if I would have put it up against it, I wouldn't have been able to get my chains in there like I wanted to. That's fine. What's she looking like? Huh? What's she looking like? Hey man, y'all be cool, stay fresh. It's a choice mask all the time. <laughs> Put God first. <laughs> 